Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here, and uh, as you know, I'm a self-love specialist from TanyaTKO.com. I hope you learn how to love yourselves and one another. On this channel, we use viral video topics as teachable moments for what self-love or self-abuse looks like in your life. And today, we have a very low vibrating story um, that's going to come as a shock to many of you. To me, I don't know this person, Brother Polite is his name. He was arrested for alleged sexual battery of his girlfriend's 14-year-old daughter. The story broke last night on another vlogger's channel and she's getting ready to go live in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to make this video short so that you all can make the rounds on the different pages and get the information that you need. Um, I, I don't even know where to begin. Just, just welcome in everybody. Welcome. I'm sorry. This is quite upsetting let's get live on the other channels we're live on twitter live on linkedin and we are now live on facebook all right so let me get my hour all right there we go all right hello knockouts tanya tko here and i'm a self-love specialist from tanya tko.com today we're going to be talking about a a creator, a content creator, by the name of Brother Polite. That's an image of him on the right-hand side of the screen. Make sure you like the video and know how to find me again on these different platforms, right? So Brother Polite, he is known as a, I've heard him described as a radical, over-the-top male feminist, right? He's one of these people in the quote-unquote conscious community. I personally do not know who he is. I'm very energy sensitive. I'm very careful with who it is that I watch and who it is that I don't watch. And I've seen his image before, but there was nothing about his, his demeanor, his image, his presentation that made me want to watch, right? What we're going to do is we're going to cycle through a bunch of different things online to just give you an idea of what's going on, what has happened, etc. I'm going to read. So I spent most of the day trying to get the court documents for ourselves. I do not have somebody on the ground in Miami-Dade to have gone to the courthouse and got the documents for me because what ends up happening is one person says something and another person reports on what another person says. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read directly from a website that says that they have the court documents. Um, just remember, everything is quote unquote alleged until we can see it for ourselves. OK, so let's read this. Let's read this real quick. All right. Oh, my gracious. OK. Brother Polite is the author of over 90 books, they say, right? Over 90 books. Um, over 90 books, motivational speaker and entrepreneur Michael Nowak, known professionally as Brother Polite, has been arrested for the alleged RAPE. What's this? Too late. This video is not going to be monetized because of the topic. You know, this is how these websites stop us from being able to have serious conversations. So listen, if you're triggered by um, accounts of sexual assault, the thought of sexual assault, the thought of sexual battery of a minor, then you jump out and you can come back in once you see this web page is off. Or you can just silence it, go grab yourself, and then come back once you see that this web page is closed off. Because I am going to be reading the details and they are um, somewhat explicit, right? All right has been arrested for the alleged RAPE of a 14-year-old girl. Brother Polite was born Michael Nowak in Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York, on August 10, 1983. The polygamist claims to be contractually bound to four wives and was rumored to be courting two more. Brother Polite, during a Vlad interview, took Vlad through each of his marriages to four separate women. As it turns out, his lust for women could not be fulfilled by consenting multiples. The 38-year-old was arrested in Miami for raping the 14-year-old daughter of his girlfriend, known only as Orocho. Noak had been in relationship with the 31-year-old Orocho for over a year. All right. According to court documents, T.S., 
According to court documents, T.S., the 14-year-old victim, was taken to an after party by Noak. Noak, who arrested, who requested permission from her mother to speak to T.S., intended to use this private time between himself and Orocho's daughter to mend the relationship between the mother and the daughter. So the mother and the daughter, she's been in relationship with this man for a year, Orocho. The mother and the daughter were having issues and problems. So he said that he was going to take this young lady under his wing, take her to an industry party, etc. Right? I'm going to continue reading. Um, but the bottom, ugh, let's just let's just go. <sighs> Noak took his victim to Club Eleven on 29 northeast 11th street in miami upon arrival the club was closed the two went to a hotel room at 1100 west avenue unit 319 miami beach awaiting the new party location while the two were alone in his hotel room the defendant noak gave the alleged victim numerous alcoholic beverages which she consumed the victim then stated that Noak began dancing and touching her inappropriately all over her body, groping her thighs, buttocks, other areas. The victim claims Noak sat her on the bed and pulled his genitals out of his shorts and boxers. Then he grabbed her head, pulling it towards his genital area. The victim then passed out. The 14-year-old daughter of his girlfriend later awoke to find Noak forcibly trying to make her vomit by putting his fingers down her throat. After these events, he took T.S. to her mother's hotel. The mother, Orocho, who was staying at a separate hotel, noticed not only that her daughter had been severely intoxicated, but also that T.S. had severe swelling of the mouth area. The defendant, Noak, according to court documents, then pled with the victim's mother against calling the police, saying that if she did, she would, quote unquote, ruin his career. Ms. Orocho transported the victim to Mount Sinai Hospital, where T.S. Dis disclosed sexual battery. The victim was transported by her mother to the Roxy Bolton Rape Treatment Center in Miami, where her clothing items were gathered and a rape kit was performed with evidence collected. Said evidence transported to Miami-Dade County's forensic lab. They're saying that this took place on 5-4-2021, right? Forensic, okay, results from the Miami-Dade County Forensics, Forensics Lab were received and confirmed. The 14-year-old victim, T.S., had a total of six confirmatory semen stains on her shirt and scarf. A DNA warrant was obtained and served to defendant Noak on 6-8-2021. The DNA sample swab taken from Noak was transported to Miami-Dade's forensic lab for analysis on 8-10-2021, which is just eight days ago. The Miami, and also his birthday, because remember he was born 8-10-83. The Miami-Dade forensic report confirmed that the semen found on the 14-year-old victim matched the defendant, Noak. Noak has since been arrested. His bond was denied, but I heard that he is out, right? This is very disturbing. This is very disturbing. Like I said, I, so we got this news from hip hiphopun.com that's where we got it hiphopun.com and so this is what they're reporting they're saying that they have the court documents from what it is that i am hearing i am hearing that that there may have also been narcotics involved and that's why he was attempting to try to get her to vomit um i'm hearing that this was not his first time also as a response to these things i am also hearing that people are blaming the daughter, saying that she seemed very fast, that they're um, that she seemed very fast, that that she did some of these girls out here, but we, no one knows who the minor child is. People are just making stuff up in their mind. We're going to play an audio from Brother Polite, um, where he was confronted last night 
by an associate of his whose name is Sarah Netter, right? Sarah Netter. And so we're going to hear what it is that he's saying in this. Give me just one moment. Let's, let's. Oh, this is just also very disturbing. This is just also very disturbing. Um, hey, what's up, okay? Well, I want you to know I'm live. Do you want to talk or no? I'm actually traveling, but what's going on? All right, I'm quite sure you see the internet is lit up. People is talking crazy. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just telling you something crazy. Yeah, people are talking crazy that um you had molested a 14-year-old girl. I don't know how true it is. That's why I said I'm not going to jump out the window. I'm not saying none of that until we can find out what's really good. And um, I don't know if you want to talk or we can set something up probably tomorrow whenever you <coughs> stop traveling or whatever. Now, you, know, you know we don't play those games. Just okay. like when niggas were coming at me with all the goofy shit before. Okay. okay. You know, when people make serious charges, when people make serious allegations like that, you know YouTube ain't the place where you deal with it. Got you. I you got know, you. I stay with our whole fucking legal team. You know what I'm saying? Say less. But what I'll tell you is this. You know, I ain't no fucking weirdo. You see all the beautiful, voluptuous people I be with? Yeah. So I ain't a weirdo. That's what it is. But I, I know what it is for people. Yeah. When you make a very negative accusation against mm. somebody, some accusations are so negative, you be like, yo, that shit's so negative. It got to be true because who would say something that negative? Damn. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how that it. shit is. But you know, I ain't gonna speak on it any further. But I, I tell you this, if I if I accuse somebody of some shit, niggas don't buy into it, niggas don't, niggas hate me. But if somebody accuse me of something, it's always true. But I'm always walking around free. Right. It's always true, but I'm always free. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but I just Say got no wind more. of it. Say no more, man. But no you know, more. love you, man. Thank you for even uh, right. just asking me. All right. You know, and being a brother, just asking. Yes. But uh, I thank you very much. But you know how we got to do when it comes to this type of goofy shit. You got to leave it in the hands of the people right. that deal with that kind of negativity. There you go. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I agree. <laughs> All right. Peace yes, on, I can't do it in the world of YouTube. Peace. All right. Now we know. Every All right. So this that's the call. So he's denying it. He's saying he's always walking around free. Yeah, sometimes it takes two years for a a case to go to court so walking around free does not mean that a person is innocent we are innocent until proven guilty people are going to have their day in court the dna samples and the thing about it is and some of you are mentioning that we live in such a black male worshiping culture that as cynthia g says that's her coined phrase that people will find any reason. They'll be like, oh, he was getting ready to purchase a plot of land, so they had to besmirch him. And it's like, it's never that, it's never, it, 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 it's, it's never that the, these people do something wrong. When are we going to check people? I wrote down some, I wrote down some notes because as you know, abuse is very triggering for me, right? So, um, so listen, all right. It doesn't matter how, quote unquote, developed a person's body is. You can tell the difference between a child and an adult. A child's mind and an adult's mind do not work the same. You can, even if a person may look, in your opinion, to be grown, all you have to do is talk to them and you can tell that they're a child. It's as simple as that. Number two, that was his partner's daughter. So even if she looked like a 28 year old, I'm just saying, pulling stuff out my, out, the, out my hat, even if she looked like a 28 year old, you know that that is your partner's child. Even if she was 28, that's your partner's child. Three, we have to hold men to a, we have to hold men to a responsible standard of basic adulthood, basic. Don't harm children. Don't have intercourse with your partner's child. It's like, it, it, it's like, it, it's, it's the depravity that we allow men to get away with for all of these excuses, even if, let's say she was quote unquote fast, even if some quote unquote fast child were jumping on top of him nude, slapping him in the face with her young bosom. I, I, who, who, who cares? 
She's a child, and that's your girlfriend's child. And as an adult, it is your responsibility to control that situation. Which, according to the documents, it seems like he did control it in the ways that he wanted to. Coercing, uh, apparently, I'm, I'm, we're hearing that he had been grooming other children and that there is proof of his grooming. Listen, I just... I, 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 I just wanted to give you all the information. That's pretty much it. I, um, <clears throat> let's, let's, let, let, let's, for our own sake, we'll look around at some, I'll look around, we'll look around at some of, some, a video or two just to get a sense for his demeanor and how he sounds, etc. right? Oh my goodness. All right, here, let's take a look at this. Let's see what... And he couldn't even believe how uh, rough and rugged I looked at the time that his sister's son was out there gangbanging and everything. So I built with him long enough and he convinced me, but I didn't see... Prison. I'm just skipping around. The whole, the, this is so, so demeaning. Okay, and this is a, a different case you're in prison for? Yeah. Okay. So this man has spent time in prison? The time. So people can cop the work for me as well. So I reduced myself to trying to sell a little crack on the side because I still had stuff left. At least I wanted to get that off before I completely stopped. Yeah. So. Oh, so he you was. realized that a lot of this stuff yeah. actually happened. In America, the Christianity was forced onto them. That's a fact. And the black preacher actually became the first black upper class. That's because the slave masters would use the black preacher to keep the other. Huh. Yeah, Africa. We're going to see, no matter if you make a law, be the merciful, and then we see you're mistranslating our mercy we get from a law. And it's the womb from no immaculate conception as far as that doctrine is concerned. And then we got to ask, so then where did we get the idea from in the first place? I have no idea Africa. what he's talking about. You draw an arc, that'd be 360, and then we could reciprocate the same in that. Well, uh, pardon me, draw arc, that'd be 180, and we could reciprocate the same, and that'd be 360. But if we were to try to use arithmetic, we would have the coefficient represented by pi. Oh, Lord, to, he's putting people into a hypnotic rose, trance with just all of this over-information. Uh, you know, black people are uh, enslaved. They are they picking cotton in heaven? I don't know, because if there's picking white Picking cotton in heaven? And if the devil was able to wage war... Listen, this is what you all was listening to. Thoughts, and reactions. That's called epigenetics. And so, being in slavery for so many years, the only thing a slave can conceive a slave? of getting any type of wealth from would be by way of their slave master. They got their food, they got their clothing, and they got their shelter from the slave master. That is the way the paradigm functions. And the paradigm being, of course, a set series of written and unwritten laws that everybody subscribes to. Please so whether it was written or not, listen, don't post links in my comment. You're going to get yourself blocked. Don't do it. Everybody's down with the program. The algorithm. And what is that? Well, we live in a world with Floyd. And shout out to the homie Floyd and P. Rilla. We live in a world where this, is... this black man can make a quarter billion dollars in 36 minutes. <laughs> this is... Oh, the, this is the teacher. leader that people it's was the listening criteria to of a teacher. Are we talking about someone that's just going to teach you arithmetic or someone that's going to edify you? Somebody that's... This, Jesus Christ. I, I don't even know what to say. You know what? We'll look around for some more of his videos. I, 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 we'll look around and see what other type of stuff he was talking about before and all of this. I just... He ain't... It ain't, this ain't my cup of tea. Like, it, it, we have got to ask, right? We have got to ask people what their qualifications are for talking about what it is that they're talking about. It seems like he was again interviewed. Let's see, wait, wait, listen. Let's see. This is unbelievable. Let's see. Legally be mar married to more than one person. Yes. Not, so, we're not married under American uh, under, law. Uh, under American law, are you married to any of these no, wives? No, because we don't confide in their religious disposition. Okay. <laughs> this man is not legally married. He's like, we don't confide in their disposition. Hold on. Hold on. Married under American uh, under, law. Uh, 
So, so hold it. But not we're not married under American uh, under law. A, under American law. Are you married to any of these? No, because we don't confide in their religious disposition. Okay. We don't confide in their religious disposition. What does marriage have to do with religion? Marriage is a court document that you get down at the courthouse. You couldn't take none of these women down to the courthouse. And this is and this is who be black women. Black men, we've got to do better with who it is that we're following. Okay. What is this but, mess? Of uh, another mother who doesn't live here. Your wife? Yeah. Okay. And then the other child is of a mother that does live here. Okay. So why doesn't the child... Uh, I have my own room, but... I mean, I, w I really don't intend on sleeping by myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know how reciprocity can take place. How can this arrangement be mutually beneficial for both parties? We may need somebody to help out with the homeschooling and to run a business that needs an extra hand. So he using the women? That particular woman. We have to also make sure we can fulfill her needs for what she's coming to so let So he's... Let's say... So, oh my gosh. So he has a harem of women. Some performing the schooling, some performing this, some performing that. And this is... I just, uh, what discernment are we using? Back from work and work itself. 18 out of 24 hours. Right. It's getting tricky now. <laughs> okay. It's getting tricky. We didn't factor in, hey, how about grooming yourself and washing up? <laughs> right. That, that has to account for something. It's not fair. I mean, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I honestly, I can't. I can't. I, I can't, honestly. You know, we're going to do a little bit more research. Thank you to the people who did send me the websites, the documentation, who told me about this story, et cetera, et cetera. I know that there are a lot of other people who are going live right now, and people want to jump around and get as much information as they can. So go ahead and do that. There's somebody named Alla Regime that says, Is you married? Listen. Please, with all that is good and green on this earth, don't get yourself cussed the F out on this broadcast. Apparently, marriage don't... Is, are any of his wives married? Listen, apparently, marriage don't mean what people thought it meant, so don't try to throw that around like it's some sort of badge of honor. Stop it. Fall back, son. I will put you in your seat. Fall back. This is not the place, the time for it. Fall the fuck back. Because if you don't have smoke... For this nigga out here who has been arrested with his damn semen samples on a child, don't come here talking shit to a grown ass woman. Go fall the fuck back, son. You in the wrong mother effing place for this because I've been holding, listen, I'm keeping my composure. I will bite your head off. Keep it, keep it, can fall back, fall back. Sit your ass down, boy. Sit down or go run someplace with other men talking about dresses, eyelashes, and makeup. Go fall back. Go fall back because we're looking at this depraved, demonic dude who hurt a child, beat her mouth with his penis to the point that her lips were swollen, that her mouth was bruised. This man is allegedly married. So don't come talking about what marriage is or is not over here and who got it because we have so many issues in our community. We have so many issues in our community. We need a cleanup. And if people with penises are not going to be willing to check other people with penises, then you're going to have to get cleaned out of the community too. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Because either you're part of the solution or you're part of the problem. And this person here is a problem. People who hurt children are problems and they must be dealt with accordingly. Unbelievable. Listen, I'm going to allow you all to get off of this broadcast. We're going to come back and we, 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 we'll, we'll have a conversation tomorrow, right? We'll, we'll have a conversation tomorrow. I want to gather some more information. Um, I, I, I want to gather some more information on this. You know, there's so many men out there looking for, for women who have children and looking for women who are pregnant and all this other stuff because they know that a new victim will be born, that they can... This man is alleged, to, according to the allegations, as a pedophile. There's something wrong with him, off in his mind. 
Come on. Listen. I, I, I want to gather my thoughts, get some more info, and then we'll come back tomorrow. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. I'm sorry that we didn't do our dancing and announcing and all of that, and this, this is not that type of video. I will see you all tomorrow. All right? Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. And part of loving yourself, the self-love lesson in this is vet the people that you're listening to. Listen to your spirit because my sp I've never watched this man. I've seen his image, but I don't click on him. There's something about my spirit that not techie. I'm not, I'm not techie. He did not he did not vibe with my spirit, so I never watched him. Women, we need to have more discernment with these people that we are giving our time, our attention, our clicks, and our money to. Because how much do you want to bet the, fu the funding backbone? I got to take this man's screen off of my side image over here because I don't, uh, his, I'm telling you, he grates against my spirit. I cannot. Minateki, right? We've got to have discernment. We've got to start asking qualified questions. What is it that qualifies you to speak on this? What certifications do you have? Where have you learned? What, what type of self-development have you done? People are following a man talking about polygamy and he's not married one of his wives, not one, legally not married any of his wives. And he's quote unquote living in this, and then all of these allegations coming up over the years, I can't, I can't, I'm out of here. I will see you all in the next video. This is too much. This is too much, just too damn.